What is going on, everybody? It is your boy, John from the Game Dude here, welcoming you back some more Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. And in the last episode, which I will admit I literally recorded nearly two months ago, that is how long it took me to recover from this trial. It was a big one. It was like my, literally my BF essentially died. Even like, and we figured out who did it. And then it was somebody I actually liked too. So it's like two characters that I actually liked. Went down the drain. And now we're left with a cast that I'm a bit worried about. So let's figure out what the heck's going to happen. And here we are. After our after being released from the fun house, we went back to living our less than ordinary lives. And just like before, our day began with us all gathering at the restaurant. <sighs> you know, every time we meet up here, it makes you realize how crazy this whole situation is. Yes, Vivi Hiko, it really does. Also, I'm gonna turn up that. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Yeah, but he goes not even wrong. Like, it's absolutely insanity how freaking big everything has gotten in this development. So, um, the restaurant certainly feels more suspicious than before. Of course, it feels suspicious. There are less than half of the amount of us that were here at the beginning. Stupid fool. What? Oh, my. Did you hear? Yes. Hey. It's Nekamaru! That was Coach Nekamaru's voice! Huh? What, 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 what are you talking about? He's no longer... What's up? <laughs> I'll beat you up! Fuck you, Kazuichi. If it's what I think it is... You... you Kazuichi is going lower and lower. Oh, what are you laughing about? I'll beat the crap out of you if you're going to keep goofing, goosing us like that. <laughs> hey, hey, that's not cool. I was up all night working my fingers to the bone. I am concerned. More importantly, I am starting to get tired of the seasonings in this restaurant. Jeez. Seriously, I'm starting to realize how valuable Teru was. D dude, this man was not valuable. No, no. <sighs> uh, don't ignore me. I was trying to talk to you about something important. Huh? Important. All right. Look at this. Look at this. It took me all night to make it. My. That is a Nekamaru doll. I'm no doll. I'm Mini Maru. Oh God! Huh? Mini Maru Ooh. took some parts from him and made it to make it right. What do you think? Awesome quality. <laughs> of course, it doesn't feel free. Like it doesn't have free will or anything. So that's more like a you know a toy. Isn't it like so freaking adorable? Are you serious? Oh, oh, oh. Nice. it is so cute. Thanks. So. I'll keep it. No. Huh? I never said anything about giving it away. Oh no, Akane deserves that. Honestly, Akane actually would deserve that. I'll so you up. don't be so stuck up. Your stuff is my stuff, right? Whoa! Whoa! Hey, now that's some bully's logic. Man. Well, it doesn't matter. I made it this to cheer you guys up anyway. Hmm. And so long as we have it, we won't forget, you know. But Nekamaru sacrificed for us. We're standing here today because of him. So if we're going to prevent something like that from happening ever again, I guess. We gotta fight too, right? We just can't keep running away. Huh. I gotta admit, I never thought I'd hear you say something that awesome. <laughs> of course. Um, <laughs> In the end, Gundam told us to never give up on life. I... So I will never give up. I shall fight until the very end. <laughs> Gundam, please watch over me. Miss Sonia? Um, Miss Sonia, what'd you think of my little pep talk? Oh my. Oh, did you say something? Are you kidding me? What? I was up all night memorizing that speech. Uh, <laughs> and there's the punchline. <laughs> <laughs> I really like this. Thanks, Kazuichi. I am Mini Maru. Man. Ugh. I'm only half as happy to be thanked by you. That's right. Oh, by the way, you can also use that to message your sore or massage your soul muscles at pressure points. Are you serious? Are you serious? That's amazing. Of course. Of course. I made it after all. <laughs> Seriously, thanks. I'll take good care of it. Akane looks really happy. Hey, hey. Anyways, what happened to Nagito? I haven't seen him like I usually do. Ah, <laughs> uh, you don't have to worry about that guy. He's all, he goes solo all the freaking time. Wow. But still, I'm a little worried about how he was acting during that last class trial. The way he's going, he's always been a dangerous bastard. But he's crossed the line, you know. Hey, hey. Then that's even more of a reason we should avoid him. But still. But even if we do avoid him, 
what are you going to do if he approaches us? Nagito's sudden change was really weird, though. I wonder, did he figure out something that we were not aware now of? Then. Anyway, Hayame, isn't it about time you told us what this was, what that was all about? Huh? That? <laughs> you know, what Nagito said during the trial. You still don't realize it. Jeez. Get it together. You're supposed to be the symbols of hope, aren't you? Oh, I forgot. Except Hayame, of course. Hey, bastard. What did he mean by except for Hayame? Huh? Are you really a traitor after all? No, it's not like that. I didn't really want to say it, but I guess I have no choice. Um, to tell you guys the truth, unlike the rest of you, well, apparently I never had, or I never was part of Hope Peace Academy's primary department. I'm a reserve corps student from the reserve department. Huh? Reserve department? It means, unlike you guys, I don't have any ultimate talent at all. Apparently I'm just a normal person. <laughs> Is that all? Uh. What? That's it? Dude, don't ever scare me like that again! It's not something that I can just brush off. Essentially, especially since it's about me. I thought I just forgot. I thought I got into Hope Peace Academy because I had a talent all along. <sighs> My whole life, I've just wanted to feel confident about myself. And I thought about getting getting into Hope's Peak Academy meant I had finally become someone who I can be proud of. Not some backup student. Right? Cheer up, Hayame. Doesn't matter where you're from, if you're from the deserve department or not. Of course. She's right. No matter what, you are a friend to us. So now, now, there is a saying in ju You know there's a saying in Japan. Listen. Fear is grateful for the danger. Hey. The hell? You're saying that all wrong. Uh, uh, so, is everyone here? It, it was a really close battle, but... Oh. Really? There it is. I am sorry. I apologize. I was trying to cheer you up, but I ended up saying the wrong thing. Wait. Do we just ignore Monami? I think we did. Yes, we did. Okay, cool. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. Stuff is just hard to say sometimes. Huh? Huh? That's weird. Maybe you can't see me. Huh? Whoa, whoa, what the heck? You're covered in blood. Mm -hmm. Ah, you saw me then. Yes, that's right. The, the, the Monami this time was very strong. Yeah. Gross. You don't get close to me. Get out of here. What? No gratitude? Am I being treated like filth? Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Why don't you just clean that blood off? We're trying to eat. <laughs> ah, yes. I'm ashamed of myself, too. Wipe ding, up ding, ding, ding. There we go. Now then, allow me to report to you all once again. After a fierce battle that has never been seen in history, I have finally succeeded in conquering the last Mono Beast. Because of this, it is finally possible for you to travel to the final island. Uh. I see. <laughs> what a thin reaction. It's like I'm surrounded by tons of shabu shabu from an all you can eat restaurant. Um, Don't tell me this again. You're gonna say stuff like, it's not like we can't go off this island. Why bother going off to a new island? Well, it's true that I don't really expect much. Don't misunderstand. But who said we weren't gonna go? Obviously, we're gonna go, dumbass. Huh? huh? So. Assuming we're thinking about running away was a mistake. I'll show you my because if we can't side. run, then we'll fight. I'll crush everyone who puts us through all of this crap in one blow. Hey, hey. But fight. So seriously, that's a fearsome... That fearsome group is called Well Ender for a reason, you know? What are you saying? Why, you... Did you forget what I, you said earlier? Hey, hey, hey. Dumbass, I only said that thing because I was trying to impress Miss Sonia. Don't, don't brag about that. If you have the power to fight amongst yourself, then direct that power towards our enemy. All right. Now then, let us go forth. Offense is the best form of defense. Damn right. I, nope, I, dis I disagree with that, but okay. I, that logic I disagree with, but it's okay. You're right. Now's not the time for us to be bickering. When my controller's being goofy right now. We love that. We're here for that. Hmm. I don't really get it, but when Miss Sonia talks like that, my blood starts to boil. All right, All right I'm getting pumped up. Let's charge our way to the new island. To get the Future up. Foundation wanted Kuma wanna me. I'll crush all of them at once. Yes. Even me. <laughs> you guys seem reliable. Hey, don't talk to us like that like you're not included. You're our friend too, you know. Mm. You're right. Leave it to me. Then I gotta do my best as well. As we left the restaurant, the expressions on our faces became clearly different than the way they were before. They were filled with a strong will and determination. 
armed with that, we began walking around the last island. But the clouds in my heart still lingered. I couldn't stop thinking about the reserve department, and that filled me with a strange, uncomfortable feeling, like a small bone was lodged within my throat. But I could not think about it. I tried to stay focused on moving forward. Chapter 5 Smile at Hope in the Name of Despair Ooh, five out of six. With the mono beast gone, we crossed our fifth bridge and arrived at the final island. Whoa, so this is the last island. Boy. Enormous buildings towered everywhere as an entire island is one gigantic city. It felt very sci-fi, as though the island was a snapshot of the urban metropolis from the, from the near future. I guess it has an ambiance befitting of a final island. Yeah, it does. Oh boy. This is sketchy. So, this is a central island. Can I actually click on it? I can. Oh, before. That's just. Before, oh, that would be going to the central island. Duh! That was me being stupid. My bad. Sea King Industries. Oh no, what is Sea King gonna do? What the? That's where they build the mono beasts. There's a bunch of strange machines lined up in all the directions. It feels very sci-fi. Hmm. Seeking Industries. Huh? huh? They're a company that specializes in manufacturing electric insulation and other machine parts. They're like a mid-sized company with 100 employees, but they're the biggest corporation on the Jabberwock Island. And this place looks like a research facility. For a mid-sized company, this is a pretty nice facility. Uh. I guess so. I only read about them in a pamphlet next to the reception desk. Besides, the size of the company isn't the issue What's here. Going on? The company obviously doesn't make machine parts. So, just what the heck are they making here? The mono beasts. He's right. It's like they're making something more dangerous. It seems like there might be a good idea to thoroughly investigate this place. This machine. It's making another machine. The finished product looks like it's modeled after the four-legged like an animal. Hey, 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 does that animal machine remind you of anything? Are you talking about the mono beasts? Maybe. Is there a chance those mono beasts were created here? The mono beasts were created here. Fine, fine. Yep, that's what this place is for. <laughs> hey. No matter what, how you in, how much you insist it's a game, people won't be convinced if the place doesn't exist, right? Bye bye. That's why. It's just fine. Yes. Uh, what the hell did that did he mean by that? He wasn't making any sense at all. He doesn't matter how convinced, because. Who is convinced? Because I'll never be convinced. What's going on? I mean, this place is for manufacturing machine parts. Why are they able to create such dangerous robots in a place like this? Does this mean the Mono Beasts took over this place and modified to do it? Damn. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. That's just a camera, that's a thingy, and that's another... Okay. We want to do this. This automated machine looks like it's making something. Is this a mannequin? Maybe. It's a humanoid machine. Is that a robot? Are you serious? Seriously? Uh, how can they make robots? <gasps> hey, how far did technology advance without me knowing? Do you think Nekamaru was made in here? That was close. It's a similar or similar humanoid robot, so it might be possible. Hey, hey, hey. But why would a company that manufactures machine parts have access to this kind of technology? I don't even know. Maybe a place somehow is connected to the Future Foundation, too. Well, oh, maybe I just have to talk to Kazuichi, because I didn't do that part yet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kazuichi, get a hold of yourself. Huh? Why? Well, why? Because you started laughing all of a sudden. <laughs> well, obviously, what uh, else am I meant to do except laugh? I mean, it's just so childish. What are you talking about? Hey. Well, there's a computer over there. So I started snooping around to see what I could find, if I can find any clues. Whoever's using this computer must have been sending emails to his buddy or something. <laughs> <laughs> he was probably trying to write a manga or something. He sent one of his story ideas to his buddy. It was such a horrible delusional story, I was so embarrassed to read it that it gave me goosebumps. Delusional story. So what was written in the email anyway? Well, I'll start off for the idea for the story. Apparently global riots were occurring in various regions around the world. And those riots were caused by high school students. I mean, seriously, that's not realistic at all. 
Uh, that, okay, so I have a reaction to this because I know what they're talking about. So those riots just keep growing as people grow more and more dissatisfied and frustrated with society until eventually it spreads like an infectious disease all over the world. Mm. But as these riots start getting circulated and strange incidents start occurring one after another, a hopeless anxiety instantly spreads throughout the world as the end of the world gets closer and closer. End of the world. <laughs> I know, right? It sounds like something else a lame high school band would think of as a song title. Hey. Whoever wrote this needs to come up with a better story ideas because psh, this wasn't realistic at all. I mean, students causing a riot on a scale totally impo is totally impossible. It's n I would never believe it in a second. <laughs> but I learned a valuable lesson and I should always delete embarrassing emails right away. Hey, about that. Are you sure it's okay to say that it's just a made-up story? <laughs> of course. I mean, it's unrealistic. Things might happen in real life from time to time, of but not. there's no way this is real. It is more impossible than a notebook that kills people just by writing in it. <laughs> uh, you're right. I forgot what that anime is. Death Note. There it is. It's just a lot of unimaginable things kept happening to us, so maybe I'm getting a little confused. But the world ending? No way something that uh, so unbelievable could actually happen. <laughs> well, at any rate, it's all clear now, isn't it? What's clear? Uh, it used to be seeking industries, but it's not anymore. I see. After this island became uninhabited, Monokuma took it over and modified it without permission. He did. All of this just so he could shock us. That's the That's reason. Right. It's so weird. This whole time he's been doing some similar stuff to us, but why? This is bad. Maybe it's because there's a bunch of crazy rich dudes who are into that kind of stuff. Huh? They're the ones trying to make us kill each other. Those bastards get off on watching kids kill each other. Hey, I hey, cannot hey. believe it. Hold on. Now that I've said it out loud, that actually is a terrible assumption. Hey. I mean, if that's true, then our fates are in the hands of those rich, perverted bastards. Sounds like something that would happen in a work of fiction. But the thought of it actually happening in reality? Definitely unsettling. Okay, now we should be able to get out. Leave here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. See, I forgot to talk to Kazuichi. I knew that I was like, what? oh, it just, oh, it says Last Island. Ooh. Uh-oh. Also, controller. Let's work, please. Controller not knowing how to cooperate is actually Jabberwock Army? Uh-oh. Jabberwock Military Base. Hmm, that thing over there. Is that a tank? Is it real? Not just that, there's a lot of other stuff here that look really dangerous. Sonia, you probably know more about this, so let's talk to you first. Um. This appears to be a military base, is that so? Despite the fact that this island is quite small, the military technology seems rather extensive. Oh, right. These might prove useful when the time comes to combat the future foundation. Useful. There's no way we'd be able to operate that kind of stuff like tanks and heavy weapons. Huh, huh really? In my country, even a child in grade school can operate a tank. No problemo. No problemo. Um, of course, in modern warfare, it is required. Of course, in modern warfare, is a required class in all of our grade schools. An obsession with anime. Now this. Sonia's country never ceases to baffle however, me. Weapons are only weapons when humans start to use them. I am concerned. If no one uses them, then there's nothing more than scrap metal. You're right. Unfortunately, this stuff is in a military base, though, and probably won't be useful. Please wait. No, that is wrong. Huh? Um. Well, I discovered a puzzling document in the tank operator seat. The future foundations in... That's the future foundations insignia. Jabberwock Island Development Plan. What is this? However... I assume it belongs to Matakuma, and it was placed rather... Ostentatiously? If I pronounce that right, I'm going to be very, very proud of myself, but I don't think I did. I don't know how much we can trust it. Do you think it could be a useful clue? Monica Moore probably did leave it, like you said. It's hard to know how much we can trust it. So what did it say? Um, Beyond what is written here, I don't know much. Well? But it does say that Jabberwock Island's redevelopment plan is at considerable length. What is this plan? To place Jabberwock Island under the Future Foundation's control and prepare it as a central headquarters. 
the central headquarters for the Future Foundation. I thought Jabberwock Island was a tourist destination. Why would the Future Foundation be interested in it? In actuality, there was something written in here that caught my attention. <coughs> the travel agency that managed Jabberwock Island went bankrupt, so the island was uninhabited for a long time. Because of that, an island was unaffected by the incident, which allowed them to easily gain a foothold. Wait, hold on! This place was uninhabited for a long time? If that was true, the maintenance here would have been way too attentive. The items in the supermarket always stocked? The hotel that is really clean? Could the Future Foundation's... Could that be the Future Foundation's responsibility? More importantly, what is the incident? What does it mean to the island that was unaffected by it? Um, I cannot discern from the passage alone. Simply reading this will not help me grasp those word, what those words well? mean. However, there is one more thing that caught my attention. One more. Do you remember the guidebook to Jabberwock Island at the library? Um. It was written there that the central island was, has, houses a large administrative building. However, we could not find that building anywhere. We even commented on how strange that was, right? However. But according to this plan, the building that the Future Foundation is planning to use for their headquarters could be that same building. Um. Could it be that same building? They are planning to rebuild it. To use it as the Future Foundation's headquarters, so it is written. What the heck? It is so inconsistent. How do you rebuild a building that doesn't even exist? Dang it, what the hell is going on? We were so distracted by all the horrible situations that kept happening one after another, we might have overlooked the more pressing issue. And that is the mystery of this island. But really, what's going on? This mystery doesn't make any sense. No matter how much we think about it, there's no reason behind it. Man, this place is boring. Boring? What are you talking about? There's a tank literally right there. You. Huh. I like strong dudes. Weapons don't excite me at all. Obviously. <laughs> a man. A real man fights with his fists. Huh. huh. That goes for a too. Right. You want to battle a little? If you win, you can rest my... Uh, if you win, you can rest on my boob pillows. No thanks. Boob pillows? Really? Uh, yeah, that's kind of what my thought process would be like. Okay, I don't know why you're calling your boobs boob pillows, but okay. This this is a tank, right? Is this real? Can it move? Everywhere I go, we're constantly being monitored by these surveillance cameras. Oh, I thought that it was talking about the tank, the thing. Helicopter. This is a helicopter. This is the helicopter Monokuma used to execute Terra Teru. This helicopter. Don't screw with me. Bam. Ow. Um. Hayame, what happened? It's nothing. I'm fine. I couldn't help punching it, but I ended up just hitting my fist first. Damn it. I'm so weak. So I think the main thing. So that was. Hmm. I didn't even notice that that helicopter was actually the one that caused Terra Terra's death. Um. This is the building I am most afraid of. The factory. Right here. This is the building that I saw immediately and went, oh no. A plushy factory? Oh no. White smoke in the billowing building in the bank. Is this kind of some factory? No, duh. But if it is a Monokuma's face on it, I'm sure it's a shady factory anyway. Hajime. Good timing. What's up, Chiaki? See? This building clearly looks suspicious, right? I was thinking it might be good if I thoroughly look around the inside, well? but... Since it clearly looks suspicious, I thought it might be dangerous to go alone. Then you want to go inside together? Mm. I'm surprised you didn't say okay. Why are you hesitating? Let's go to the side door first. The goods warehouse. You. Hey, Hayame. You're kind. You're the kind of person who waits until the very end to eat their least or their favorite food, aren't you? Mm, how could you tell? Well, I like to eat my favorite foods first. See? So instead of the warehouse, let's check the factory. Ah! <laughs> Damn it, you got me, girl. You freaking got me. I wanted to avoid this place and go investigate something else first. <clears throat> All right, then I'm going inside. She got me good. Oh, no. Oh, my God. What the heck is this? That's what's being manufactured one after another after another being carried away on the conveyor belt was... Monokuma? There was one in the back here, I think. 
that I might have to freaking wait for. Okay, no, I'm wrong. The conveyor belt is endlessly moving through the enormous machine. The coconut trees carried by the conveyor belt is processed and eventually, and eventually made into this stupid thing. Oh God. This is a pile of monokumas in the basket. The monokumas are being tossed into this gigantic basket one after another. There, they better not be real. I picked one up with my hand. I see. So they're just plushies. Monokuma plushies? Ah, the real Monokuma is sort of like a plushie too then. But unlike but unlike him, these are probably actual plushies. <laughs> Isn't the resemblance so uncanny? They're like my life-size plushies. Little life-size plushies? <laughs> I was planning to hit the big time with these. That's why I'm making them like crazy. <laughs> I'm gonna be rich! But you made way too many. You're gonna be overstocked when all is said and done. Monokuma's life-size plushies. I, I don't want it. Mm. I see. So this place is manuf for manufacturing life-size Monokuma plushies. What kind of messed up place is this? Uh, don't look down on me. Do you really think it's just for the life-size plushies? <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot more Monokuma merch in the goods warehouse next door. What should we do? Honestly, I don't really feel like going. But still. But what if there's some kind of important clue there? What are you gonna do? You're right. Then we should go find, go there for a little while. So you mean that the little place was the more important place after all? What? It's almost like this is why we investigate everything all at once. <laughs> now, me, maybe we wouldn't under, may have the understanding, but we'd have the knowledge. Without thinking, I picked up, picked up a pile of stacks of cardboard boxes. That dolly is from DR12, and I don't like that. Russell Russell. There's a Monokuma calendar, a Monokuma sandbag, and even a Monokuma guitar. First, there was a Monokuma archive in the funhouse, and now there's a plushie factory in all of these goods? How full of himself is he? <laughs> Mascot popularity doesn't last forever, you know. Even I gotta earn the big bucks while I can. The mascot that is, isn't popular anymore is like a piece of candy without any sugar. In other words, I'd have no reason for existing. He's starting to talk even crazier. So we just have the cardboard boxes. The books. I'm curious about the books. There's a bunch of books stacked up high. What in the world are these? Monokuma's poetry collection? How stupid. Who the hell is going to even read this crap? Hey, hey. There's another book here too. Let's see. Monokuma's Most Precious Moments. See? That's the actual title of the book. But it's just a collection of nude photos. Monokuma's actually naked? Yep. I know. Random goods. There's a bunch of cardboard boxes stacked on top of each other. There's various goods inside them. There's even household appliances and musical instruments, too. They're probably used for packaging or used for packaging goods before they were shipped. Looks like they were waiting here to be shipped, but I don't, but I don't, but I don't, these are ever going to leave the island. <laughs> oh no! Oh no, it's supposed to be doubt. Oh no. This is all stacked up stuff. It's a bunch of CDs. Mm. Uh, I thought they were going to be video games, but they're just music CDs. Uh, this jacket says Monokuma's collection of songs and ballads. Is he planning to release an album? Mm. Character songs are all the rage these days. But I'm not all that interested in the derivative works like that. I've never heard of that mascot selling his own character songs. Mm. Plus, it looks like he's already produced his 100th song. I see the hundredth track is a festive psycho pop dance rap that he performs with all his might. I don't even know where to begin with that sentence. This looks like a Monokuma panel, but why so many? Phew. Oh, I was thinking about using those to decorate the stores and sell my merch and make them all go boom! Talk about boom, boom! 
Um, then they stand out, you know. No store would ever sell your stuff. You're so of course stupid. not. You're such a fool. That is why I'll open up my own official Monokuma shop. I'm thinking of opening chains all over the world. Of course, the main attraction would be my life science Monokuma plushie. Can't believe you even thought that far in the future when you made these. Your business is doomed to fail. Hey. Enough already! You have no business sense anyway, so you just stop it! No, no! Hey, hey! Don't you say that! Let's do our best together! Will would be as popular as Pongs were in the 90s! Hey, or Pongs hey. were in the 90s. Um, don't you remember how long those stayed popular? Besides, if you're serious about opening a business, you've already committed a major mistake! Because there's you. no merch of me! My little oh, sister! Monica. Don't you know that the a the, the Aesop fable about the rabbit and the bear? Not the tortoise? Hey, um... A long, long time ago, there were two old guys. Hey. Two old guys living together? Ching. Oh, the old guys thought rabbits aren't as popular as bears. The end. Ooh. Huh? Did you even need old guys in that story? In other words. So even if I made merch of you... It's pointless. A half pink rabbit is so lame. You don't even have one ounce of good fashion sense. You stupid. You did this to me. You're the one who has no fashion sense. <laughs> what a hopeless way of snapping back. What honestly? I can't help but feel like I might have made too many panels. Special bleeding service! Uh, so whoever wants to decorate the room, please do it as you like. Here. Come on, what are you waiting for? <gasps> Hi, May, let's run. You're right. We ran out of the warehouse, narrowly avoiding Monokuma's plan for inventory disposal. It's like you just got tired. <sighs> yeah, you're right. Where would you like to go? Outside. Because I think there's one more building before we end this episode. Oh, hi! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, Jaime. I was looking for you. What's up for you, Higo? Wow. I was thinking you probably finished exploring this island by now. You're right. I think I've explored everywhere at least one, once Damn for now. Right. Then do you want to meet up with everyone and discuss things? I don't mind that at all. I figured it'd be annoying if we all went back to the hotel for this. But there's a street nearby lined with food vendors, so I told everybody to meet up Later. there. So I'm heading over there right now. Hurry up and come over. After letting me know, Fuyuhiko left the area. He actually took some time to tell everyone about it, huh? Well, now's not really the time to be impressed by something like that, but it'd be bad if we made the others wait, so I should hurry over the street with the food stands. Like, I know where that is. Um. Oh, Vendor Street. I didn't think they'd count this as something. All right, looks like everyone is here. Huh? Huh? What about Nagito? Huh? Who cares? He's not like our friend or anything. Like... I couldn't even get in touch with him. I don't even care where he, the hell he is or what he's doing no. anyway. So, how'd it go? Did you learn anything about the Future Foundation? Hmm. Not really. Like, I feel like I learned stuff, but also feel like I didn't learn anything at all. It's not clear which information we found believable, if any. However... However, I believe there's no question the Future Foundation is behind everything that we have been going on here. Well, Are you sure about that? Huh? Huh? What are you saying? If they're not our enemy, then what are they? If they're our ally, there's no way they would trap us on this island. Well, yeah. That's true. But there's something that I've been thinking about. Hey. Monami works for the Future Foundation, right? She's pretty much admitted to it by this point. But even though Monokuma is forcing us to kill each other, Monami is opposing them. Huh? You mean pretending to oppose them, right? That's wrong. No, I don't think she's pretending. They're clearly, they clearly hate each other. Hmm. Then it's possible that our enemy of our the enemy of our enemy is actually an ally because she opposes Makuma. Do you think she's our because she opposes Monokuma, you think she's our ally? Please wait. Even though both sides oppose one another, it is possible that they both can be an enemy. I'm starting to get pumped. I out. like a three-way battle. That sounds kind of hot. Hey. After why? After all this time, are you suddenly backing up the Future Foundation? Whoa. Are you talking like that because you're actually a traitor that's working for them? Damn it. Don't be a fucking idiot. I won't be no way. You're clearly suspicious. I mean, if you don't... Settle down. Kazuichi Soda, shut up. Yeah. Yes. Listen. There, it was never a traitor in the first place. Monokuma lied to us. Oh, my. Lied. Well? It is simply a false entity that Monokuma made up so that we wouldn't be suspicious of each other. You went to the... 
How could you not believe in your friends after everything we've endured together? <sighs> weak. How weak. Man. Uh, I like how... I like how I instantly turned on Nagito mode, because I knew that's who it was. <laughs> okay, back back to Nagito mode, but like, I did pretty good there. Uh, instead of facing the problems directly and overcoming it, you desperately are trying to run away. Such despair. That weakness uh, is hopeless. Nagito. I hate you. I really do. Nagito, where have you been this entire time? Jeez. I wonder where your thought process wandered off to. As usual, you guys keep running around in circles. What are you? Hamsters? <laughs> Oops! If I compare you guys to hamsters, will I get yelled at by the weakling who dropped out? That is... What? What is that? Now then. Oh, you asked, where have I been this entire time, right? Well... Well, I was in the middle of looking for someone. Looking for someone? <sighs> I thought that person might have already arrived, but... I guess I'm wrong. <laughs> or maybe... That person is hiding in a secret location, carefully watching us. You... Hey, who are you talking about? Are you saying there's someone else on this island besides us? <laughs> uh, it's probably the survivor of the killing school life, after all. Huh? How about it? So, a lot of things make, might start adding up, don't you think? Are you talking about Biakia? He's the survivor you're talking about, right? What? What? <laughs> oh, I see you guys have only reached that stage. You. What stage? You're not making sense at all. Not making sense. Jeez. But still, if you think about it properly, you might be able to figure it out. Why would Biakia, a survivor of the Killing School life, die in vain, like he died did in the very beginning? Right. Uh, don't you think it's strange? Huh? What does that mean? That is an order. The issue is not with what he means. Please take back what you said about Viakia's dying in vain. That's right. Hey, listen to Miss Sonia. Well? You have been acting very strange lately. I do not like this version of Nagito that we have been witness to. Huh. I don't like it either. Well, I never liked you in the first place. This is troubling. <sighs> it looks like I'm being hated. Well, that's understandable. There's no way you guys can even comprehend my suffering. Well. Knowing the truth can be a painful in its own way. The truth? What truth? What do you know? <laughs> Curious, are you? But why don't I tell you guys after we found out who the traitor is? Huh? Actually. To tell you the truth, I still haven't figured out who the traitor is. <laughs> but it won't take me very long. You guys don't have to worry about a thing. I'll weed out the traitor even if it costs my life. What? You're going to weed out the traitor? Please wait. As I have already said, there is no traitor in the first place. <laughs> I'll bet in the end you're going to be the one raise your own hand and go, I'm actually the traitor, right? <laughs> <laughs> you're a funny guy, Kazuichi. But why don't I tell you guys after we've found out who the traitor is? If I'm able to wipe out all despair on this island, will I? This is exciting. Will I become the ultimate hope? Ultimate hope? You. What the hell are you talking about? You finally lost your damn mind. Now then. I should get going. But if you see Monokuma again... There's something I want to tell him. You to tell him. Tell him he doesn't need to provide any motive anymore. What? <laughs> tell him not to worry because I'm planning to go all out. Besides, the next one will probably be the last. Could it be? Nagito. What does that mean? Bye now. Nagito ignored Chiaki's question and left us. We were powerless to stop him. It was clear to us that, they, that trying to stop him would just be useless. Hey, hey. I don't want to think about it, but... Could he be planning a kill? Are you kidding a me? A kill? Who? Who is he going to kill? Damn it. Based on how he's talking, it looks like he, his target is the traitor. Please wait. There's no such person, though. I mean, the notion that one of us has been deceived... That, that notion... The notion that one of us has been deceiving all along? Well, I will never believe that. Like Sonya said, I can't believe it either. I don't think any of us could have done that. But what if it is now, you know? Or what if whoever has... For it is, has forgotten about it this entire time. What if the traitor has forgotten that they're actually a traitor? Just like how I forgot that I don't have a talent. Uh. Well, regardless of who he's targeting, there's a high chance that he's planning to kill, yeah, right? right? Then we gotta get him, tie him up again. Forcing him to stop is the only way. Oh. It's impossible. Nakamaru is not even here anymore. <laughs> uh, I mean, he, unfortunately, she's right. Because I don't think that any of them really have the powers to do that. 
I'll show you my serious side. <laughs> I've got what takes to deal with him as someone as weak as him. Huh? Then that's a yes, right? Just leave it to me. Once I come up with a plan, we'll meet up again. Tie up Nagito, huh? Kazuichi is right. Because of, it's dangerous to let Nagito wander freely. If if we're being cautious, we have to act as fast as we can. But in, what is this indescribable anxiousness I'm feeling? I hope it means I'm thinking into it too much. For the time being, we decided to finish our exploration to the final island and return to our hotel. It was already dark by the time we returned to the hotel. And that's where we'll leave you guys off on the next episode of Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Despair. We are going to go into our cottage here in a second, if it'll let me here. But yeah, thank you guys again so much for watching. Love you all. See ya.